All right guys, I'm Man Caver Tools. Today we are going to continue the second installment when it comes to the Battle of the Brushless. All right, we are going to use this auger only and the batteries are all charged up. They're good to go. We are going to test this out on speed one and if they uh, succeed at doing this on speed one, we're going to test it out on speed two. Well, let's just get to it. Let's do the Craftsman with a regular four amp hour battery with 18650 cells. Battery is full. It's on drill, it's on speed one. All right, the Craftsman cut out. That's what it has left. Yeah, that's about an uh, inch and a half All right, next let's do cobalt with a four amp hour battery with 21700 cells, ultimate output. Battery is full. It's on drill, speed one. Oh, the, the cobalt cut out, it has about a half inch left about a half inch left. All right, so it's on drill speed one. Battery is full. Time. It did it. I take it out. All right, test number two. We, we're we're just gonna see if it can even do it on speed two. Nope, it failed on speed two. Four amp hour battery with 21700 cells. Battery is full. It's on drill. It's on speed one. Let's see if uh, DeWalt can do it. Time. Did it. Let's test out speed two. Actually, I'm going to test out speed three and then two. I do hate this about the DeWalt. Uh, if you go to speed one and you work it hard, you have to, it won't let you go to speed three. You gotta pull the trigger, go to speed two, pull the trigger, then you can go to speed three. That is annoying. <clears throat> that is annoying. Now let's see speed three really quick. Failed. All right, let's test out speed two. Failed on speed two. Hey, Ryobi's next. Drill speed one, battery is full. Three amp hour high output battery with 21,700 cells. Nope, okay, the Ryobi failed to drive that in all the way. I'd say it has about uh, one inch left, but it failed. <laughs> Ryobi failed. All right, let's see if the Flex can do this with the, with the, two, with the two clamps in the chuck. Eh, 
and it's a little wobbly, but we'll see. This is just uh, this is just to see if we can do it. If it failed, I'm not gonna blame the tool because the chuck is broke. Yes, it did. It, it finished it. It finished it. All right, just since it finished it, let's try it on speed two. I doubt it, but we'll see. Nope, uh, the flex cut out, which the speed, I'm just be impressed that it did do the task with the broken chuck. Yeah, it's it's very wobbly. It's okay. So, like, hey, tip your head off to Flex for for doing it with a missing clamp on the chuck. All right, next, let's do the rigid octane with a three amp hour octane battery with twenty one seven hundred cells, which the battery is full. It's on the drill. Now drill speed one. Oh, you can do it. Don't give up. Oh. Nope. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna declare that it did it because the it is touching the wood on this side. So the so the rigid did it. Which means let's test it on speed two. Yep, it failed. All right, Bosch is next. Battery is full. Speed one, it's on drill. Did it. Let's take it out. All right, now let's just test to see if we can even do it on speed two. Nope, failed on speed two. All right, so we'll do Hilti. On drill, it's on speed one. Time. It did it. All right, let's test uh, speed two out. Uh, test out speed two. None of them were able to complete this task on speed two yet. Nope, Hilti cut out two. Hilti failed. All right, for the final, final one is the Milwaukee. Four of full bars. Three amp hour high up a battery. It's on drill, it's on speed one. We can do it. And it did it. All right, so. Wow, come on, let it go. go. All right, let's test that out on speed two. All right, and it failed on speed two. It failed about an inch, a inch and a quarter left. And just to remind you guys that I completely forgot about this hammer drill is broken. 
it is broken.